Hey basketball players, today I am going to be breaking down Devin Booker's shooting form. If you're looking to shoot the ball better, this is definitely a video for you. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out how Devin Booker shoots at basketball. Okay, so this is all footage from before a game. This is him warming up, and this is probably our best chance to really see how he's able to shoot. So when he catches that ball, and what we are going to look at first is his feet. What is his feet doing? And what we can see is both of his feet are pointing straight towards the rim. Clearly somebody really worked on that with him because those are some very perfectly straight to the rim feet. From there what we have is he is up on his toes which is good that's going to allow him to be able to shoot that basketball a bit quicker. The calf muscles are muscles that are fast twitch muscles and that's going to be able to get him up into the air faster. Something that almost every single shooter it seems like does these days is to bring their knees in together you really want to try and separate them as much as possible but again that is okay that's just showing that at least sometime in his past if not currently the outside muscles are a bit stronger than the inside muscles so that tends to happen with players something else that we really want to look at is his hips and it seems like both of sides of his hips are square towards the basket as well as his shoulders that's going to give him a nice straight shot in most cases he's also looking at the rim as soon as he catches that ball and even before he catches that ball as soon as he catches it he looks at it here but generally when you're about to catch it roughly about this area from your hands, you really want to be starting to look at the rim, but this is just a pre-game warm-up. This is not in-game, so I would assume that once he gets in-game, he's going to be really focusing in on that rim. Now, going up to his set point, he doesn't necessarily have a set point per se but generally it does hang for a second roughly right about there so what does that tell us so first off his head is in line with his knees in line with his feet first off that's very important he brings the ball up the middle of his body so that tells me that in the past when he was younger he shot from his chest a lot but his elbow is in unlike players like Jimmy Butler who when they go up the middle of their body with the shot their elbow flares out he is able to keep his elbow in so clearly there was probably a coach who was really working on him with that when he gets up to his set point what we do see and what I mean by he doesn't necessarily have a set point per se is because he is almost a one motion shooter he's not a two motion shooter but he does freeze for a second roughly right about there so that is just above if not right in front of his eyes so to some players if the ball is in front of your eyes you do lose sight of the rim so if there is a defender who is pressuring you that could help you lose the ability to be able to make that basket but it does only stay there for one frame and it's 30 frames per second actually I should say one two three four frames so that could hinder his ability that's four frames out of 30 in a second so 10% of a second so about tenth of a second he does lose view or sight of the rim but it does hang right over top of his right eye in front of his forehead for that couple of seconds now we do have a, a better clip later on but we do get to see that he does have some space between his palm and the ball now I do have another clip that I'm going to show you in a bit what is going to be showing his hand placement but what we do see is does he float any and he doesn't really he maybe floats I'm going to say maybe three inches forward on this shot from there what we are looking at is his release now he goes pretty well straight up with his release we're looking at a 45 if not better degree angle and he is better than 45 degrees generally this is a different angle but how we can tell that is his elbow is above his eyes and that's how I am able to tell that without having a side angle that he is better than 45 degrees you generally have to have better than 45 degree angle on your arm to be able to have good arc on your shot which is going to help you shoot the ball at a higher percentage but also uh, that is going to allow you to have 
the ability for that ball to bounce around that rim if you just slightly miss your shot and hopefully it bounces in. Now when it comes to his flick, something that I do notice is there's two types of flicks. There's a hard flick and a soft flick. He has a soft flick. How I'm able to tell that is his hand sort of curls at the end and it bounces up again for a second. If it was a hard flick, it would just stay down and stay in that bend for a bit. And he does hold his shot form for a bit. He, he holds his arm up for a couple of seconds that we see there. And the reason why this is important is it helps that ball continue its flight. If you pull your arm down too fast, what generally happens is that could affect the ball for where it's going to go right or left or for distance. You want to try and keep your arm up there for at least two to three milliseconds, you can say. One Mississippi and you can pull it down or you can say two or three seconds at one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And of course it always feels nice to keep it up there, especially when you've made your shot. So as we can see, his shoulder is in line with his elbow. That's a perfectly straight line towards the basket. And from elbow to wrist is almost pretty well straight up, which is going to allow it to be a straight, very straight shot. Now, what we can see from this angle right here is his fingers are spread out, which is nice. And that's what you want to have. His left hand does drop off the ball. There is no thumb flick on this shot at all. And that we also see in this, in this clip is that his pointer finger and middle finger are the last fingers on that ball. Some players will have that ball bounce or drift left in their shot when it's like this, but by, but by having his arm slightly bent towards that left side that we see here to go right in front of his face almost on this shot, that is going to then negate that slight arm bend so that he's able to make that shot, which we do see him make. I hope that this breakdown has helped you become a better shooter yourself. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.